welcome back. Can you believe we only have a few days left? This is so crazy. Uh, I just got up a little bit ago. It's 8.30. It was nice to just lay in bed. <laughs> but before it gets too late and before it gets too crazy, because you know I don't like to shop. I don't do grocery shopping on crazy weekends, uh, being that it's the weekend before Christmas. But I'm going to give it a shot. and I'm going to head to Trader Joe's. I don't need a ton. I just showed yesterday a Thrive Market haul. And with it being Christmas, uh, you know, we're going to have food there. We'll have probably some leftovers uh, with my family, I mean. And you might be like, Kim, it's so quiet. My kiddo is actually with my parents right now. And he decided he's like wants to stay till Christmas. So I'm like alone and <laughs> Christmas winter break right and uh so I'm, I'm like I just don't need that much stuff but I also thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of baking today even though I've told you I don't love baking but I want to do something different I think I think I think I want to do like a chocolate crinkle cookie I feel like everyone's made that before I haven't so <laughs> I want to try that out and we'll see what happens but I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's I'm gonna get a few things I need sugar to do that. Yeah. But yeah, let's, let's see where this day takes us. So I had a fail. I thought I had the camera on when I ordered this so you guys could hear it. So I apologize. I didn't click, click, click the button. <laughs> but I actually have been getting this the last few days. And I even had Nate try it yesterday. He's like, that's good. And I'm like, I know it's mine. And <laughs> I thought I'd share it with you. But it's a venti latte with three pumps of sugar-free vanilla. You could make it. I don't even know what it comes with normally. I think like seven or eight. I don't like it that sweet. Um, and then with almond milk, no whip. And I normally don't get the almond milk and I get soy instead. And I don't know, this has just been so good. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. It feels really hot. Mm. It's good. Anyway, uh, I just got two Trader Joe's. If you can see that over there, can you? Kind of. You guys remember there's a Starbucks right next to it. Uh, I think I showed that on like day one or two of Vlogmas. I think it was day two. Anyway, uh, but we're going to go get some things. Uh, Nate's still like working like crazy. Uh, by the way, I watched, I just kind of, I don't know why I thought of it right now, but I did. Because uh, he got home super late and I had just finished watching not too long before that In the Tall Grass uh, on Netflix. And I guess it's on a, based off a book and I didn't realize that at first. And it's by like Stephen King and I love Stephen King. Like I love, and a lot of you, cause I've posted on Instagram. A lot of you said that like the book's really good and you want to see the movie to see how they like, you know, take it. And I hope I hope you're not disappointed or I hope maybe I'm just being really harsh because I did not like it. I just was not, I didn't get it. And I like weird. I like creepy, but I just, it wasn't for me, but I watched that last night. Yeah. And then they got home super late. He's, uh, he's doing all right, but he's definitely exhausted now. Uh, still got a few more days of it. And then for him, it's, uh, in alcohol land, right? <laughs> you know how it is, is, uh, you know, it's crazy through Christmas for sure, but it's even like more crazy right before New Year's. Everyone celebrates New Year's Day, you know, or New Year's Eve. And um, well, yeah, New Year's Eve, because then apparently, uh, <laughs> starting January 1st, it's like a ghost town in there. <laughs> Cause nobody drinks after, uh, the first cause they're on their health kick. Look, we've all been guilty of it, but <laughs> it's just kind of funny. So he's hanging on, he's doing good, but I'm thinking I might get him some of those lentil wraps he likes. Um, I can meal prep some stuff, but again, we're going into Christmas and right now I think it's the survival mode right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's get in to the old Trader Joe's. All right, so I'm back in my car. Uh, got a few things. I didn't really get all that much. Okay, so maybe you've been there too. Like, I always say follow your gut. Like, no matter what, just follow your gut, even if you're completely wrong. But it, there was this guy in there that, like, everywhere I went... <laughs> He was there somehow he was right there every time and I was going like in and out of aisles totally the wrong way on purpose just to like get away and he was there and I just got a weird vibe and uh I don't like to be like judgmental in that way or anything or just think you got someone figured out and could be completely harmless but at the same time you know what you never know right and so it just wasn't the best little trip there. Uh, so I got out of there. 
that's what happened. Uh, anyone else, does that ever happen? Share your stories because I think really as women, sometimes like we try to be really nice and oh, they're fine, it's fine. And actually, you know what? Follow your gut. <laughs> you just don't know. And yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop though, I think by Vaughn's and get a couple more things because I didn't even grab some of the things that I wanted to get. Uh, but I got the lentil wrap, so we're good. But yeah, it was really weird. I don't know, guys. It was really weird. Anyway. All right, my friends. I am back home and I just laid everything out. It's in no particular order at all, but I thought I would share it with you guys. It's really not that much. Again, just kind of filling in for a few days. And then I think what's going to happen is next weekend, which is kind of crazy. So real quick, just to tell you, because uh, the last video for Vlogmas will be up technically on the 26th. I always post them like, you know, one day later from what it is. And uh, that's what, Thursday, I think? and I won't have a vlog for this coming Sunday but then we start right back into uh the hauls on Mondays and uh, so next Monday will be probably a very big haul uh getting you know restarted for the new year this kind of worked out perfect because I really didn't get that much today and I really just want to like clean out what we have. I've even had Nate take like pretty much all the frozen meals that we've purchased over the last few weeks uh, with him to work for, you know, his crazy shifts and it's been working and we can just start anew, start fresh. Now it won't technically be the first next Monday, but close enough. <laughs> anyway, just to kind of give you a little update actually, but that's the plan. So next week, be on the lookout. I'm ready to go, <laughs> but I'll show you what I got today. So I went ahead and got some of these cracker assortments. I love these. I don't know why they're so good to me, but they're so good. And sometimes you just want a cracker. So I got those again. Uh, you get like four or five different like styles of them and some have like pepper in them. And some I think even have like a poppy seed type blend. They're really good. <laughs> so got those. Got one onion here because I'm out of those. I did notice they had the uh, organic peanut powder. So kind of like a PB2 or just any kind of powdered peanut butter you probably have tried in the past. What I liked about this though, uh, because I haven't tried it. I'm going to assume it's going to taste pretty much like any of the others that I've had, but there is no sugar in it. And I thought that was really good. A lot of the times powdered peanut butter, just like Jif and uh, Skippy, great peanut butters, very popular brands, but they have added sugar. And to me, it's just not necessary because peanut butter on its own in powdered form or the real, the real deal is so good on its own. Now, if you're not used to it though, I will admit, like if you're coming from Jif and Skippy, you know the one, uh, we've all been there. Uh, going to like a natural peanut butter where it's just peanuts or just peanuts and salt, it's a little weird at first, but I swear to you, keep trying it and eventually you're gonna just like want nothing but that. It's so good. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to try this out because uh, actually, I have the PB2 right here, in fact, and you'll see on there, it's not a lot, don't get me wrong, it's really not, but there is sugar in it, and uh, why not switch to one that's sugar-free? That's a good substitute right there, uh, something simple, and you're not going to miss it, you know? So anyway, just thought I'd show that to you. And then, of course, my friends, you know the drill. This is my all-time favorite Trek mix from Trader Joe's. It is so, so good. This is what I have left, actually, from Aldi from uh last week do you notice there's no pineapple kim had her way with it yeah so that's why i love it though the candied pineapple in this is amazing it's so good so i got some of the of that just to have and then i got some avocados too which actually right after this i'm feeling like avocado toast doesn't that sound good that's what i'm saying so i'm gonna have that uh well i'm gonna see because these don't look quite ready i might have one more in the fridge we'll see what i can do uh i wanted to show you guys too I got more of this coconut whip topping by the Sweet Rose brand. I will say by far now out of all of them that I have tried, and it's been a whole thing, you guys know, this is the best one. Like as far as like actually getting all of it out of the can because it can be a thing. <laughs> but I really, really liked this last time, so I got another one. And then I was super happy to report. I picked this up because I was, saw that it was there and that just made me happy, but I really didn't have anything to pair it with per se. Although I do think... Let me just tell you, yesterday, if you missed it, the Thrive Haul, I showed that those fruit spreads, I got like a super blend, super food blend one and then the blueberry one. If you put a little bit of that, like a tablespoon of that and a tablespoon of this, oh my gosh, it is so, so good together. And then you dip that 
into it. Now, I'm not saying it's the healthiest thing ever, but it's also not the worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it is such a great little snack. You can make your own little like wine and cheese boards doing that and it'll still be vegan. It's pretty cool. Not that I've done it before. <laughs> anyway, but I got this and I was super excited because this was missing for like a couple months uh, as of recently. And I'm like, no, this is so good. This is one of my favorites actually on the market out of all of them for cream cheeses, for vegan ones. I love it. Uh, with that said though, it reminds me our Trader Joe's has been out of it for months now, uh, but their vegan mayo, the like, I think they call it what, like vegan spread or something like that, but basically they're vegan mayonnaise. And I really, really liked that a lot too. And that has been gone and it was still gone today. So I think that might've been phased out, but I'm hoping they'll bring it back. Another item uh, that I had told you guys recently that I guess apparently got discontinued was coconut sugar. And I had to pick it up at Whole Foods actually, uh, I don't know, a month or so ago and I saw that they had that back. Now, it was a different brand. I think it was like Wholesome was the brand, uh, but so it wasn't like the Trader Joe's kind, but they did have it back, so that was cool. So hopefully, the vegan mayo thing will be back as well. Anyway, it just made me think of that, and I wanted to tell you guys uh, to keep your eye out. You never know. They sneak it back in. I got some of these uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. Uh, I think I might do some, like a batch of protein pancakes too for Nate, also to be able to take for the next few days, and some Sometimes you guys just put a couple of those in there. So the semi-sweet chocolate chips are vegan. The chunks are not. It's really weird. <laughs> I wanted just, again, to get a little bit of something. And this just looked really good to me. I did this recently at Walmart, too. And it's just been so good. <laughs> I know it's not, like, the best way to buy it. But since I really didn't need much, I, I kind of made the exception this time. But I got a little thing here of uh, watermelon and then a little bit of cantaloupe. It just looks really, really good. So I went for it. Got two of the spicy lentil wraps. That's what I was really primarily going for. Nate loves these. They're his favorite. And if you have not had them before, the really the wrap itself is not spicy whatsoever. And it's more of this uh, sauce right here it has a little kick to it. But in our opinion, and Nate is very sensitive to spice most of the time, it's not that spicy at all. So it's really good. It just gives it good flavor. But he loves this. So I got two of those for him. I got one veggie broth here, the low sodium one, just to have on hand. I'm completely out of the better than bouillon veggie base. And I don't even have any of these too. So just in case, I was thinking of possibly making another big batch of chili too. Uh, but we'll see. I may or may not because that actually goes a long way, which is awesome. But again, I just don't know that we're going to really like need it. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see. I needed to get some more milk. So that was something I definitely needed to stock up on. We love their soy milk. We get the unsweetened soy. I got two of those. And then I got one of the uh, unsweetened vanilla almond milks too. And then you'll notice that's open. <laughs> You'll notice there's no dogs there. They got their treat. <laughs> but uh, I got these gingerbread flavored dog treats for the dogs as well. Because you just got to do it, you know. <laughs> and then I got one thing here of Ezekiel bread. I had shared with you guys, I think last week, in fact, that we like make our own uncrustables. We leave the crust on though. But you can totally make like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Throw them in your freezer and then you have them ready to go. And I did that and they're gone. Nate took them. So I might do that again and again I kind of wanted that whole avocado toast thing let's let's hope there's one in the fridge so that was everything from Trader Joe's again it really wasn't that much but it's going to get us by and it's going to give me an opportunity to truly get through our pantry and start new my friends do you guys want to see let me know do you want to see a haul from like to start off the new year essentially uh from where where do you want to see Trader Joe's again and obviously it'll be a pretty probably pretty big one. Whole Foods, uh, you let me know. Let me know. Uh, but anyway, I did stop again at Vons and I did just get the granulated sugar. I have like raw sugar and cane sugar, but it's a little bit different for like baking. I'm going to try this whole crinkle cookie thing. I'm going to try, but I, I have to be careful with that kind of stuff in this house because... You know, but I'm going to try to wrap it all up and have it for gifts uh, for Nate to take to work and get it out of here <laughs> anyway. Um, and then I also got just the cocoa powder as well for that. And those were just the two items that I needed to get. I think those were possibly two at Trader Joe's. But again, I just kind of got out of there. It was really weird. I don't know. I'm probably just like reading too much into it. After I drank that coffee, my cheeks got super red. 
<laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, so, and actually I just did get home. It's 1030 now or almost, and it's supposed to maybe rain today and it definitely looks like it. I mean, I don't know how much you're gonna really like see, but it's definitely more of a gloomy day. So I think I'll probably just stay put. We'll see. Anyway. All right, so it's a few hours later. I may have been on the couch for a while, that's the truth, but we're gonna get these cookies done. So I got everything kind of started. I'm gonna link this recipe below. This is not my recipe. Um, since I've never made this before, I'm gonna kind of go off of one that looked good online and definitely give the credit where credit's due. So I will link her website below. I'm not even sure who it really is, <laughs> but I already kind of semi messed up, but we're gonna hope for the best. <laughs> Technically, this flax meal, uh, I'm supposed to add into with the wet ingredients first, but I didn't, but that's okay, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> so I got flour, cocoa powder, uh, a little bit of flax meal, and the salt and baking powder here, and there's all the ingredients of that. And you're gonna sift it through just so it's all, there's no lumps and anything in it. And then right here we have some sugar, some vanilla, almond milk, and then I have the melted coconut oil here that I'm gonna add into here. So actually let's do that now. And then it doesn't even say that you have to use like a hand mixer or anything, um, just use like a, a wooden spoon or whatever, but I'm gonna use this little hand mixer I have and get this really well blended. Let's do it. All right, so there is that, and then we are going to put in the dry ingredients and kind of mix it together uh, and not over mix it at that point though. Uh, we'll see, it's definitely got kind of a separated feel because I use coconut oil, you can use canola oil too, but we'll see, should be all right. I've done this before of different recipes with coconut oil where it has kind of that similar consistency at first. But yeah, we're gonna just put this into here and shake that in and mix it all together. I'm gonna do this kind of off camera though because it'll be easier. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like when they're Okay, out. checking in. I'm sorry the lighting's kind of bad. It's totally raining out and it's like not giving me any natural light. But anyway, uh, what I will tell you is I can see this totally coming together now, but at first I felt like the ratio was completely off because it was like, how is this gonna blend? Because it felt like so much like dry ingredients, but it's totally coming together. So be patient if you make this recipe too, because I can tell you at first I was like, oh, this is not good, but it is totally coming together. So I'm gonna finish uh, mixing this and then we're gonna make little balls and uh, put it into powdered sugar. And it's supposed to be pretty much that simple. I like that. We'll see what happens. It's every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around feeling confident we're gonna put these in I think I did make them a little bit bigger because I think I'm supposed to make like 24 and we got 16 <laughs> so um, I'll put those in after these are done see how it comes out but maybe these need to bake maybe a little bit longer because of it but we'll see what happens fingers crossed all right they look pretty good I have to admit I did them for 14 minutes again just because they're a little bit bigger again I wish my lighting was a little bit better but you can see and I feel like this one over here looks the best and having said that oh kind of falling apart a little bit uh we gotta try it but I'm gonna take these off and then kind of show you the bottom they're a little oily looking you know they look good though, and I'm gonna hope for the best on flavor here. I can't really see where it could be bad. 
<laughs> right? And it's funny because sometimes you have the fear with cookies, at least I do. Oh, and I put my thumb in that one, like getting it out. <laughs> but you kind of fear like, okay, are they cooked all the way and what have you? And it's like, you know, really when you're doing vegan anyway, it doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> like meaning all the ingredients can be uh, consumed raw pretty much, right? I mean, it may not taste the best, but it's not like a problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. I'm going to do these last four. This was definitely a trial run, but I think it's going to be good. Um, I might make some like banana bread tomorrow maybe because I do have some bananas over here that are kind of on their way out. We'll see. I don't know. But, uh, oh, also, I just gave them a rinse because they were in the uh, cabinet for a while. But I wish I could tell you where I got these, but I really don't even know for sure. But I'm going to assume something like a dollar store or even like a CVS or Walgreens. You know how they like have stuff like that sometimes? Aren't these cute, though? Um, they come with the, the little matching lid, and you can put, like, treats in it and then put, like, a little ribbon around it, and you're good to go. So that's the plan. I'm going to put these in there, uh, and they can take them. I might, like do the cookies now and then if I do decide to bake something else tomorrow uh add that as well we'll see so yeah anyway all right let's get these done I'm gonna let these sit a little bit longer you're supposed to let them sit for like two minutes on here when it's still hot which I did and then let them like completely cool on like a rack or something like this you know so we'll see but I'm gonna bake these hello okay they're still a little warm but let's try that one that I have my eye on we gotta do it Let's see what happens. But I can show you like, yeah, they're maybe, a, they could have gone maybe a little longer, but they're fine. They're totally fine. Let's see. Mmm. It's like a brownie. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <sighs> wow. Oh my God. Okay, they're delicious. I will tell you, I like the combo, but, but if you don't love coconut, I can taste the coconut oil, um, but I'm totally loving it, but I do taste it. So uh, do canola oil if you don't want that like flavor blend of chocolate and coconut. Oh my God. Straight up a brownie cookie. It's the only way I can describe it. Okay, I might make more of these, like tomorrow. More. Um, okay, the fact that they're kind of slightly underdone, they're gooey, they're good. More. Um, yep, mm -hmm. please try that. I was a little like unsure. First with the dough not looking like it was gonna even come together, but it totally does. Then thinking I made them too big, don't know how long to cook them. Totally worked. 14 minutes if you make them, if you make 16, like I did, 14 minutes. Uh, divine. That is so good. So good. But yeah, use canola oil if you don't want that little flavor of coconut. That's really good. You know what you could probably do too? Is add like nuts into it. Because I'm telling you, it's straight up a brownie. It's a brownie cookie. Uh, so you could put like walnuts in it or something too that you would normally have in a uh, brownie. Oh, that is delicious. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it is like 410 right now. Just watch the chargers lose. So that's, you know, normal this year. We, we don't want to claim them <laughs> anyway, but I'm definitely getting hungry, but I don't know. I don't know. It's raining. I'm not going to go anywhere. I just don't know what sounds good. Mac and cheese sounds good, but Nate took it. <laughs> Remember those, uh, uh, field, no. Why am I drawing a blank? It's chow cheese field roast, is that what it's by? Why am I drawing a blank? Anyway, the chow cheese one, the chili mac one. I would have ate that up right now. Really would have. <laughs> Maybe he's doing me a favor there, but anyway. Uh, guys, I want you to just know too, uh, Nate, for the last few weeks, he's just like, 
no, I'm not doing it right now. I'm not doing it. And that's what he keeps saying. No, not right now. And I'm like, what? And he's like, I'm not dieting right now. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. Not doing it. I'm just trying to live. He's like being over dramatic about it. And part of me is like, well, you also aren't going to like gain 10 pounds and have to deal with that too. <laughs> Point with that. You know what? I, I think we can meet somewhere in the middle. <laughs> and we will all, all of us, all of us will get back on track. Come the first of the year, we're going to all be walking cliches together, okay? <laughs> and we're going to just live our best lives right now. That does not mean that you have to gorge yourself. That does not mean that you can't say no to something. Uh, but you know what? Eat the cookie. You have a cookie. It's going to be okay. And uh, we'll reconvene next week, right? There's my spiel. Anyway, guys, I love you. I will let you guys go because I think it's already going to be maybe a little bit longer of a video. And uh, I'll definitely see you guys tomorrow. Maybe we'll bake something else. I don't know. We'll see. But I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. This year I'll think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I